This is Mikhail with Merc Wares, and in this series, uh, I'm going to show you every trick that I know on how to use a ferrocerium rod to light a broad array of tinders from natural to completely man made. We're going to try some more uh, stubborn tinders. Say you don't have any grass or you don't have any bark, cattail fluff, or you know, any other uh, easy to light uh, objects. So here we have just a stick I picked up off the ground behind me. And here is a bit of a split uh, pine that's got a little bit more resin in it. And uh, we will try the pine first. Just because it uh, is nice and easy to split. First thing I'm gonna do is I wanna make a smaller stick that I can catch from the shavings I'm gonna make. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split off I guess you could say it's a match and then from here I would have a big tinder pile you know with other twigs and sticks going but the idea is I'm gonna have this thing ready to go now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make shavings I don't even need a knife to do this so I'm gonna put that away I'm gonna use the actual scraper that I would for my ferrocerium rod to create the shavings that I need in order to light this on fire so here we go in fact, I almost think it does a better job than a knife in some respects because it gives me these really nice fluffy shavings like that. There we go. Get my ferrocerium rod. Now, in this case, um, as I did with the grass, I don't want to pin it because it crushes it and knocks it out of the way. Um, I could just put it right here and just scrape down and that would bounce into it no problem. But I think with this method, I'm going to just again hold the scraper stationary and I'm going to pull back on the, the, the rod and that should drop the spark right in there which will light real good. Then I can light that stick and then we'll repeat the process with this to see if there's any difference. There we go. Get this piece lit. Now I could take this and uh, well, let's make sure it's good good before I, <laughs> before I claim victory here. There we go. So that's a piece of good pine fat wood. And uh, you see that's going well enough. I could hold this larger stick over it and get that lit no problem. Or if I had a big bundle of twigs and the rest of my fire laid ready to go, I don't think I'd have a problem getting it going with that. Not at all. Thank you for watching the video. If it was helpful to you, please consider subscribing. We have a lot more of these types of videos coming out. You don't want to miss any of them. Then also know that the ferro rod that I use throughout this video series is available on my website, emberlit.com. Now we've tried a bunch of different ferro rods on the market. And I really like the consistency of these and I love the way they throw sparks. Thanks again. This is Mikhail with Merkwares. We'll catch you on the next one.